Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video. Today, we're going to be talking about ultralight lures. These are some of the best that I have that I use all the time, depending on what I'm chasing. But uh, as you can see here, some of them are actually very well used. And the reason for that is because they work. Some that look kind of brand new are because they're brand new. Most of these don't survive except for the metal ones which well they're metal you won't lose them until you lose them but most of these lures i lose because that's just the nature of well these things sometimes the big fish just goes you can't stop them and you lose the lures but these lures work in a lot of conditions and these are the ones that i cannot do without now Here's a very good example of a tackle box, okay? So as you can see, there's two lures left. And believe it or not, this was just from a few months of use, really. You know, I use the lures until they, they're really mangled. And that's it. I haven't replenished the box yet, or these boxes yet, but as you can see, I have them all organized and you know they they just uh they just disappear quite fast see okay so i took a selection off of these boxes and that's what we have here all right so now it's not in order okay but i will have a little discussion on where i use these and why okay first let's go to the ones that go real deep and it's these. These are crankbaits. Okay, but they're tiny crankbaits. This goes a bit shallower, while these two go deeper. And believe it or not, they are fantastic when it comes to fishing in areas where there's some rocks and there's a deep drop. Okay, so these three are my pick for fishing near rocks, jetties, and whatnot. They're also really good in sand. So you cast them out as far as you could, or as far as you can, reel them in, and they go to the sand, okay? And they wiggle, and they kick up the sand. Most of the time when you stop and let them drift up, that's when the fish hits. This is a Rapala ultralight crank and this lure has caught a lot of fish for me over the last few months of its uh, or the last months of its life with me and uh, for places where there's some deep drops and sand patches i throw one of these and this is i mean most of these are actually the first lures that i start with depending on the situation i'm faced but it catches a whole range of fish and sometimes it's one of the best lures you could use at night okay so that's the rapala ultralight crank now the storm uh, gomoku crank is quite similar but it's a bit bigger so if i want something that has a bigger profile that dives deep this is the one when i'm faced with uh shallower water I like using these uh, the ones with the shorter lip and what it does is uh, it actually kind of dives down deep and holds holds its uh, position and it's just literally a little bit off the bottom okay and it's great because sometimes you don't want to go down deep especially when there's a lot of snags and you just want to go just enough and yeah catches catches a lot of fish problem is you know guys sometimes you know people are not open to some some of the uh, lures so they end up just using one type or you know just uh what do you call this just uh their old standbys so hopefully this video would actually kind of give you an idea of what i have in my box and uh yeah it works all right so this is a cast champ 
Very similar to uh, Castmaster. Very small lure. This is actually, if I'm not mistaken, about 3 grams. So for a tiny lure, it actually weighs... Yeah, about 3 grams. Yeah, 3 grams exact. So it's a, it's a small lure you could cast a good distance, especially when it's windy. And a small lure that you could use to just cast out, drop to the bottom, and hop. Okay, so it's a very good tool for a lot of situations. More than likely, you'll lose this because the fish would just swallow it and if it's too big, it'll pop your leader. But it works great. I never ever leave home without a bunch of these. Quite fun. Okay, now, another spoon that, there are smaller versions of this but I, I don't have, uh, I ran out of the smaller ones. But this is a crocodile and a crocodile is a very good lure and this is probably one of the oldest lures in my box. Not this particular one, but the crocodile. I've been using it since I was a kid and it has been catching for me for a really long time. And crocodile is one of those lures that you just cast and it just works on its own. All You could do a fast retrieve, a slow retriever, and it keeps on working. So this is pretty much at the top end for me. It's about 10 grams, okay? Just just show you there we go 10 grams right there okay so top end of the scale when it's really windy it works for a multitude of species again this this is not in order so we are uh, I'm just showing you what I have in my box uh, several types of soft plastics okay these are the jig heads I use them with as you can see there are several types of jig heads there in different weights I have some light ones I have some heavy ones and even heavier ones okay um, actually on the lighter side there are these okay so, soft plastics, don't leave home without them, and quite useful. Also, some of these, actually, you don't want, <clears throat> you don't want to leave home without, because soft plastics are practically like bait, almost, okay, so... I always have a handful of them and in different types. So this is a Storm Gomoku Shrimp, a bulky ring, straight tail, and a minnow, soft minnow. So I always have these and they're actually kind of the most variable of all these. They're very easy to use. You just cast them out, reel them in slowly, and then that's it. Okay? Ah, of course. The dents. This is a small lure that weighs a lot. Okay? So this is actually about a, a 6 gram lure. Okay? It's a 6 gram lure, and it is a tiny lure so it's heavy it swims great you can use it uh in a multitude of ways really okay so so basically what what you do with a dense okay is you can do anything you can cast it out as far as you could let it drop down hop it reel it slow jerk it and my favorite believe it or not is just to cast it out as far as i could let it drop down and reel in as fast as I can actually you know what after this whole thing I'm gonna show you the reel that I use and and that matters a lot when it comes to these okay so next up is the Rapala X wrap 8 small lure very light but still very castable for for its type okay swims well and when 
fish are homing into bait fish size like this, it is very, very difficult to beat, especially in this color right here. Okay, white. Okay, so one of the the easiest, again, one of the easiest and the best lures, especially when they're they're homing into bait sizes like that, it is just unbelievable. Okay, ah, I use this a lot at night. It's a rip and wrap. You can hear that. It's great. I mean, when fishing deeper water, this particular lure is actually pretty heavy for its size. And it sinks really, really fast. Okay, so this is 5 grams. It's this small. It's very compact. Now, as you can see, it's smaller than the dense. That weighs about this, the almost the same. Okay, and this is... Uh, four uh, uh, zero four model so it's the ultra light rip and wrap and cast it out very very good casting lure because it's small and it's compact very easy to use again cast out slow fall and lift that's all you do and it is a fish magnet okay so next one is countdown five yeah so you can see that it's about the same size as the dense okay main difference is it's a tad lighter now the countdown almost like the dense but the dense is heavier and it's also uh, I mean you can see the body it's actually kind of wider or deeper than the dense. Again, very common bait fish profile, plus the colors, it's more natural looking than the storm dense, but the swimming action is very different. And the countdown is, as its name suggests, is something that you can cast out. You just count down to know where the fish are, the level, because this is slower sinking than the dense. So you count down uh, until you know where the fish are and then you reel in and it stays at that level okay whereas the dense actually kind of rises up a bit uh, when you're reeling it especially when you're reeling fast but the countdown actually kind of maintains its level and that's well that's why it's called the countdown the mini fat trap again about profiles this is a short and stubby lure you can see that I mean it actually has some weed still stuck in the hook this is, uh, I, I, as you can see also, I actually took the hook off here because I, I, I kind of like the idea of just having the, the, the hook at the back right there. Believe it or not, I use this almost like how I use the crankbaits, but it is a countdown minnow sort of deal for me. Okay, so I, I cast it out. I let it sink and then I reel it in. Now the main purpose for these crankbaits are not, actually not as a fish imitator. For me, they're more of a crab imitator and this is a smaller version of this, okay, or, or of these. So kind of useful, especially when you're fishing around areas where there are some rocks or sand and, and patches of sand or sand areas with patches of rocks because those are the places where actually some crabs live in. And this I use as kind of like a crab imitator, just slowly moving it on the bottom and the fish just pounce on it. Again, the, the, these lures are not specific to any species of fish. You can actually adjust them to catch the species you want. Okay, and that's practically why I love them. Flutter stick. The flutter stick is, I, you know, this lure, it kind of singled out queenfish for me. But the, the thing about this lure is that it can catch a multitude of species. And it's not because um, it swims great or it looks great. And, and it does that. But it's just the way it moves. It, it kind of has this darting and stopping motion that I really like. 
And uh, especially really early in the morning when the fish are kind of relaxed, you know, I throw this out and I catch I will, everything from, I've caught everything from queen fish to grouper with this. So yeah, it's one of those lures that just, I just have to have them. The thing about the flutter stick that I like is that as its name implies, it flutters. So I use it primarily to fish in rocky areas where I need the lure to go a bit vertical more than, you know, retrieving it. Okay, or when I'm fishing a bigger area, cast it out and then just fish the flutter. Okay, and this lure is tops. Nothing beats it. And if you don't have or you can't find this, there's a lot of lures that are actually like this. Okay, what it is essentially is basically a mini stick bait. Okay, I love it. I just love it. All right, and then of course, this lure is the ultra light minnow it's a bit longer than these guys almost the size of the crocodile really and i use this for fishing areas where there's bait fish of this size there's a lot of instances where you actually use this and it's probably one of the most useful uh, lures here because of the size Okay, it's practically one of the most common sizes for bait fish. And for, for something that's kind of light, it allows you to target bigger fish, if you dare. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's quite an easy lure to use. Again, I think I mentioned in the other video that most, most of the Rapalas and Storms, they're actually kind of designed just uh, to work to work on a straight retrieve they're that easy to use and all you do is actually vary your speed and if you find a speed that actually catches the attention of the fish just stick to that and that's it now all of that except for the flutter stick where you know it has its own action on the way down so yeah that's it guys there's there's no secrets here okay I'm, I'm showing you everything that I'm using and uh, th these are some of the best ones that I've ever encountered. Now here, I'm just going to take a picture for the um, thumbnail. All right, that's it. So guys, seriously, if you can't get all of them, just get some of them because these are seriously some of the best ultralight lures that you will ever find. All right. So before we end this video, I just want to show you the reels that I'm using. This one here is a Soiree 2000, more like a thousand size reel. And it's specifically for ultralight fishing. This is an old model. They came out with newer models. Now, this is also the cheaper of the two. It's so small, weight doesn't really matter. Okay, and the other one's a Stella 1000. Both of these reels, are power gear so there's they're low speed reels and it's not so much as the uh, size of the line that I'm using it has a lot to do with well a realistic presentation because smaller fish actually swim slower than fish that's bigger than them uh, at least for this size right here okay and one other thing is that when you're reeling really fast with a PG, it doesn't spin a spoon. And it just makes the lures wobble a lot and not spin out. And you have that, you kind of have that tendency when you're using a fast retrieve reel. So for pr presentation purposes, I use only PG reels. And probably the biggest reason why you should use PG reels or low speed reels is because of the fact that especially with smaller lures you stay in the strike zone longer okay so that's it thanks for watching if you haven't yet please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one